This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. Good morning, everyone. I'm Angie Casada with your NBC News Brief. And starting off our news brief in state news this morning, law enforcement officers from across the country came to Mississippi at the beginning of the week. They've come to honor the life and legacy of U.S. Marshal Josie Wells. Wells died last week in Louisiana when a man he was trying to arrest shot him. Monday, Wells' widow talked to reporter Patrick Clark about her loss. The parking lot at Wade Baptist Church was packed Monday. Family, friends, and law enforcement agencies from across the state drove to the small town of Wade to honor the area's hometown hero who was killed in the line of duty last week, 27-year-old Josie Wells. The greatest gift of all is to have served your purpose. His purpose was to protect. So he honored that gift that he received from God. His wife Channing says the outpouring of support is amazing. To all his friends, his colleagues, um, people that met him even for a short time, thank you. Channing says her husband's passion for law enforcement began early in life. He was raised in the law enforcement family and carried on that legacy with pride. I saw he slept, breathed was law enforcement that all that's all he knew. She even recalled what he would say about his job as a U.S. Marshal. I want to be that law enforcement officer to make a difference. My husband was a mentor. He not only loved his job, though, she says he also loved his family and he was a wonderful and caring husband. Josie was a charmer. That's the first thing that caught my eye about him. Losing the love of her life is heartbreaking, especially now that she's pregnant with their first child, who will bear his dad's name. The fact that I've had eight glorious years with him, I have my memories, I have tons of pictures. And Channing says she will do her best to carry on her husband's legacy, and he will always have that special place in her heart. Not a doubt in my mind that he's in heaven preparing a place for me so that one day when we do meet again in eternity, my, my husband will be there for me. In Jackson County, Patrice Clark. Well, we are learning more about why Democratic candidate Lieutenant Governor Jelani Barr was arrested. Mississippi Highway Patrol tells us Barr was stopped by a trooper Monday afternoon in Holmes County for speeding. Reportedly, the 30-year-old was getting unruly and disrespectful with the officer and the trooper immediately arresting and charging him with multiple counts, including disorderly conduct, disobeying officer and resisting arrest. Now, this is not the first time Barr has found himself on the wrong side of the law. Back in 2012, the grand jury indicting him for allegedly assaulting a Greenwood police officer. We reached out to Barr for a comment and he refuses to talk with us. Mississippi Highway Patrol is in the process of reviewing dash cam video to make sure proper procedures were taken in this high profile case. Well, thank you for tuning in to your NBC 33 News Brief. We'll see you tonight. This has been a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief.